Hey everybody, um, I hope you all are having a great Thursday. Um, I wanted to jump on here again this week and kind of talk about um, a topic that I have been thinking about a lot and that is the number one thing that can transform your life. Um, and I know you're waiting for something huge and phenomenal here, but it's really something simple and it is your mindset. Um, I know what y'all are thinking. This is not brand new information, Corey. Every day we try to be li um, we try to be positive and really kind of spread that out into the world, but it's something that I have not really used on a daily basis and I don't think we're practicing it every day like we should be. Um, I'm really, for those who know me personally, I'm kind of a negative Nancy. Um, and no offense to any Nancys out there, but I have this awesome talent of turning anything into a negative. I can think of something negative about it. Um, if we pull into a crowded restaurant parking lot, my first thoughts are, A, the service is gonna be terribly slow, B, we're going to have to sit at an itty bitty table and not a booth and C, this is going to take forever. Um, horrible way to be. Um, I can also pull into that very same parking spot, parking lot for a restaurant and there can be two cars in there at noon and my first thoughts are the food must not be very good because there's nobody here at noon. Why wouldn't there be somebody here at noon, right, if it's a fabulous restaurant? So the struggle is real that I have this hidden talent. Um, but something kind of happened in my life um, that totally made me rethink how I look at things. Um, and that is when my mom passed away. Um, she died of complications for vascular Ehlers-Danlos and I am one of the lucky ones that also has that syndrome. Um, yay me! It's so exciting. Um, and I think that I kind of, it was one of those things that was kind of shoved to the back of my head. It was kind of like as long as my mom is still alive, I'm good. Like they said, we're not going to make it to our 30s. You know, she's in her 50s. So this is awesome. We are going to defeat this. We're going to be different. Um, so when she passed, it totally was an eye opener and it was like, this is real. Like, I have this, this is going to happen, and I need to change my mindset. I need to um, think about this in a different way. And it always kind of brings me back to a um, sign that my Uncle Randy had on his fridge. And I really hated that sign growing up. Um, and it said, you know, life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. And I'm sure you've all heard that. And it is so true. You know, life throws you curveballs, and you sometimes have no choice but to just go with those curveballs and make the best out of it, right? And you can sit there and you can be down and out and you can be, you know, this is horrible. My life is horrible. Um, this disease is gonna take me away way too early. There are things I'm not gonna experience or you can have a completely different mindset and you can think, you know what, this is, this is what I've been given. This is God's plan for me and I'm, I'm going to make the best out of it because this is all about how you react to something. You just kind of got to pull up your big girl panties and say, I'm doing this. Good or bad, this is how it's going to be. So, um, and in life throwing you curveballs, this last year for my family has kind of been filled with a lot of um, up and downs and we had to make some really difficult decisions and you never really quite know how those decisions are gonna pan out or if they're the right decision. But um, it was during this time period that, that Rodan and Fields was, was placed in my lap. And at first I was very, very hesitant. I, I didn't wanna do it. I'm not a salesperson, I'm not a people person. I mean, I like people, but like in small groups, I don't, like to just walk up to strangers and start talking. Um, I like my intimate group of friends and my family and I'm kind of an introvert in ways. 
so this was not up my alley but something something in my gut said Corey you just need to do this you just need to take this leap so I did and I did it for reasons that I thought were the the real reasons I was doing it why I needed to do it however what I learned in joining this business is that my reasons changed um, I figured out what my why was and my why was to create time freedom and financial freedom for my husband and my daughters when I pass. Um, and that's a huge goal. Like I sit here and I'm 34 and I think, it, is that possible? Can I, can I actually accomplish that? Because it seems ginormous to, to say, you know what, even if this happens, you're going to be able to not work then. You're going to be able to take care of the girls and live where you want to live. And it'll be great. And so... I think that that really scared me, but then I just had to come back to my mindset and I had to realize that I can do it because you guys, it's just like when you, when you start exercising and dieting, right? You know, the steps, you know, that if you eat healthy and you exercise daily, that you are going to reach your goal, correct? You are because you have that right mindset. You have the mindset that you know that this is going to work. And if you do these things every day, that it's going to work. So I know that with my mindset that I can totally reach that goal, even though it seems so far away right now, I know that it's going to work. And it just blows my mind. All of the doors that are closed right now for people because they don't realize that if they just change their mindset, they could open those doors and there's a whole new world out there that you didn't even know that you could be a part of or accomplish anything out of. So that's my story for today. Not really a story, but I don't want to start crying here soon or get emotional. Um, what I ask you guys to do is really just um, maybe comment a goal below or comment something that, that you've really wanted to accomplish or where you really had to change your mindset. And, and focus on something in a different light. And I'm gonna put a link below to a blog article that my lovely sister wrote um, about me. And it really kind of um, goes over my why and puts into perspective why I decided to do this um, for me and how my mindset kind of plays a role in that. All right, I hope you guys have a wonderful Thursday evening and yay, tomorrow's Friday and I love Friday. So I will talk to you guys later, bye.